Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another Poshmark video and I am excited about this one. After being on Poshmark for 10 months, I feel like I know how important self-sharing is to attract more attention to your closet and therefore hopefully make more sales. But you know what? I need some concrete evidence. Everyone's out here saying self-share, self-share, self-share. And I always felt like I knew the benefit of that, but I needed to test it. So that's what this video is all about. I put myself through a sharing experiment and I'm here today to go over those results with you. I ran this experiment for myself where one day I shared my closet every 30 minutes on the dot. And then the following day, I didn't share my closet a single time. So in this video, we are gonna go over the results of sharing that often and not sharing at all. And we're gonna break it down. First of all, if you are new to Poshmark, you're probably like, what is sharing? What are self shares? Self shares are when you hit that little arrow button at the bottom of your listings and you share them to your followers. But what it also does, and more importantly, what it does is it sends that item to the top of search results. So I would venture to say that sharing your own listings are the single most important thing you need to be doing to make sales on Poshmark. Aside from listing new items, you need to have things listed if you're gonna sell them. And like I just said, this is because when you share your own items, it puts them to the top of the search results. So somebody right now searching for that style, that item, that brand, they're gonna come across your listing because you just shared it. And it's not gonna be buried under pages and pages of search results. So that's why self-sharing is so important. And I just needed to put it to the test. So first I'm gonna outline some important parameters of this little experiment so we know what we're dealing with here. The first thing is that I was very consistent about sharing my closet every 30 minutes. I set timers for every 30 minutes throughout the day from the time I woke up to the time I went to bed and I dropped everything I was doing. I literally stopped my workout to like run over and share my closet really quickly. I was very consistent every 30 minutes on the dot. I usually aim to share my closet once an hour. I'm not super strict about that on a normal day, but usually it's about once an hour. So this 30 minutes was doubling what I would normally do. Something else important to know is that at the time of this experiment, I had 128 active listings. So of course, if you have a massive closet, sharing every single 30 minutes is gonna be a major commitment. But for me, it only takes me between like two and three minutes to share. So it didn't feel that crazy for me to do. The hours that I was working with, I shared my closet for the first time at 9 a.m. and I shared it for the last time at 10 p.m. That's because those are the hours that I was awake and functioning. I wasn't gonna do like a 24 hour experiment or anything like that. So 9 a.m to 10 p.m. And it's important to know that that is in mountain time. So later in the video, I'm gonna be breaking down the results like hour by hour. It's important for you to know what time zone I'm in. So you can take those hour by hour sections and apply it to what that means for you and wherever you're living in the country. Another thing is that I did not list a single new thing for these two days because I didn't want anything to potentially impact the amount of activity or traction I was getting in my closet. I know sometimes when you list something brand new, that brings a whole bunch of new eyes onto your stuff. So I just wanted to eliminate that as a factor and I just wanted to focus Focus on the sharing. A little disclaimer right here and something that may or may not be impacting my results is that the day that I shared every 30 minutes was a Sunday and the day that I shared nothing at all was a Monday. That's because I'm working now, I'm a substitute teacher, I can't be consistent about sharing my closet during a weekday. So keep in mind that there's obviously a chance that the app was more active on the weekend than it was during the week and that could have impacted some of the results I got. My earrings are just flying all over the place, okay. Although I will note that since the NFL has been back, Sundays have been so slow for me that I've noticed that like Sundays are so hard to make sales for me lately. I don't know why. So that's why I chose the least active day of the weekend, I guess. Okay, and last little thing before we get to the numbers is that I measured the success of this experiment based on likes and sales. I was particularly interested in the likes that I was getting, not so much the followers and community shares because obviously the likes are the things that most directly translate into sales. Nine times out of 10, it's the people that are liking your items that are the ones who are going to buy them eventually in the future. However, I did still collect data on the followers and the community shares, and I'm gonna be talking about all those numbers towards the end of this video if that's something that you care about. All right, let's get to it, I'm excited. The day that I shared my closet every 30 minutes was Sunday, November 1st. Like I said, I shared my closet for the first time at 9 a.m., and I shared my closet for the last time at 10 p.m. Mountain Time. So this means that I shared my closet a total of 27 times throughout the day. I'm gonna put the breakdown right over here of the hour by hour likes that I got, but between the hours of 9 a.m. and 10 p.m., I had 37 likes. As you can see by this breakdown, it kind of confirmed my suspicions that like the early afternoon and evening hours tend to be the most popular. Here's the part that I really care about, which is the sales. So on Sunday, I made five sales total, but three of those I could directly link to the sharing that I was doing. Two of those sales came from offers to likers the previous day, so I didn't count those. So I'm saying, 
saying that on Sunday I made three sales as a result of this sharing strategy. Two of those sales were from people who liked things that day and I sent them an offer and they accepted it. And one of those was a full price sale on a sweater that I have had, get this, <laughs> I've had this sweater, this American Eagle sweater. I'll show it later in the video. Since January 4th of 2020, it was the first item I listed in my Poshmark closet and it sold full price on Sunday. The reason I'm connecting that potentially to the sharing is that because whenever you're sharing, it's at the top of the search. So whoever is searching for a warm, cozy sweater for the winter, mine's coming up at the top, it's right there. And she chose to just hit the buy now button and it's hers. Because I was sharing it so often, it wasn't pages and pages deep and she didn't have to search that hard for it. All right, let's move on to the day that I shared nothing. This was Monday, November 2nd. So I did not share at all since 10 p.m. the evening of the first until this morning, the morning of the third. So that entire day of the second, the whole 24 hours of November 2nd, I did not share a single thing. But for the purposes of this video, I'm kind of blocking out that 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. time frame, And I paid close attention and tracked the data on the likes, the follows, and the community shares just to kind of mirror that data from Sunday. So clearly the number of times that I shared was zero throughout that time frame. I'll put the breakdown over here for Monday, but the total number of likes that I received from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. was four. Womp, womp, womp. Very sad. The number of sales, not surprisingly, was zero. And overall, just a very, very sad day in Poshmark land for me. But just between you and me, it was so nice not to have to share my closet. Wow, do you know how liberating that feels to give yourself permission not to share your closet? Oh my gosh, so bad for my sales, so bad for my numbers. Really great for that mental health. All right, let's talk about the follows and the community shares I received on both days. Like I said before, I wasn't really paying attention to these. I didn't really care about them. I didn't track them hour by hour the way that I did with the likes, but I do think it's important to kind of compare that data because it's kind of shocking. You'll see in a second. I have a video on my channel about 10 mistakes that new people on Poshmark make. And in that video, I talk pretty in depth about why follows don't mean anything and why community shares don't do anything. If you want to check that out, I'm not going to go into that right now. But in a nutshell, follows and community shares, they do not drive sales. They don't really do anything for your sales. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to compare the two. So on Sunday, November 1st, I got 43 new followers. On Monday, November 2nd, I had 41 new followers. That's very interesting to me. On Sunday, I had 189 community shares, meaning people shared my listings. And on Monday, I had 14 community shares. So very dismal over on Poshmark. Like those poor notifications, I would just refresh like every hour, nothing new would come in. So here's what's interesting. And here's what caught my attention immediately is that I got nearly the same number of followers on both days. And this confirms my suspicion and it confirms my beliefs that followers mean nothing because new Poshmark users are automatically assigned to Poshmark ambassadors like me. So I'm gaining followers all day long at virtually the same rate without any effort on my part. Now the number of community shares was drastically different. And when I saw that I was thinking, okay, some people might be able to argue that I got a lot more likes and more sales on the day that I had more community shares, right? Like who's to say that it was because of my shares and not their shares that I was making sales. I was really curious about this. So I did the painstaking work of of going back and looking at every single one of those 189 shares to see what exact items were being shared. Specifically, I was looking to see how many times those three items that I sold were shared by other people throughout that day. So I'll break it down on the screen right here for you. The first thing I sold on Sunday was a Zara dress. It sold at 3.51 p.m. And at the time that it sold, it had been shared zero times by other people and it had been shared 14 times by me. The next thing that sold is that American Eagle sweater that I've had since January that sold at 8 10 p.m. It was shared one time by somebody else and it was shared 23 times by me at the time that it sold. And the last thing was a pair of Levi's jeans. They sold at 8 27 p.m. They were shared three times by other people and they were shared 23 times by me at the time that they sold. So out of 189 shares that my items got on Sunday, four times did those items get shared by other people. So for me, it's really hard to attribute those sales to community shares and not self shares, considering community shares don't do anything for the search results of your listings. Only you can put your listing to the top of search. So I kind of feel like it was my own shares, not theirs. But in conclusion to this little experiment into this video is that I truly, truly believe that self shares are so 
important for driving traffic to your closet and therefore accumulating likes on your items that can then be turned into sales. Like I said, I feel like I definitely already knew this and I've been told this time and time again from other people in the Poshmark community, but this absolutely without a doubt really confirms it for me. I definitely believe that self-sharing is the most important thing you can be doing right now, this moment, to make a sale. So if you are new to Poshmark or you're thinking about signing up, you can use my code, it's Hannah's Closet 12. You get $10 off your first purchase and I also get $10, which I can put back into my business, which I am so thankful for. I hope this video was helpful and I hope that you can drive some sales with this. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and I'll see you in my next one real soon. Go share your closet.